Today we're going to make goat cheese and fig stuffed chicken breast. This recipe is really simple, but it looks and sounds really impressive, so it's perfect for date night in. We're gonna use goat cheese because it's really creamy and it has a really nice flavor that's not too overpowering. And we're also gonna use figs to add a little bit of sweetness and because they have a lot of health benefits. They're really high in fiber, they're really good for digestion and heart health. So this is a really nice, healthy meal, all in one, that you can make to impress them. Next, we're gonna butterfly the chickens. I like to start on the thick end, I think that's easier, and just cut in an even line all the way down the chicken breast. And you can check when you flip it over to see how thick you've gone. And we wanna go in pretty far so that we can stuff the goat cheese. Then you're just gonna flip the chicken open. So then now you're gonna season it. Salt on both sides. And pepper. So now we're gonna stuff the chicken breast. So lay it out here and about half of the filling, we're just gonna spoon on there. And you don't wanna get it too High. Otherwise, you won't be able to flip the chicken back over. So just spread it out nicely. So then you're going to take the other side and flip it over. Try to really pack it in there so it doesn't come out. Now from there, to seal it, we're going to grab a piece of prosciutto. And you could use bacon if you want, but this is an Italian cured ham. And it's really light in flavor, but when you bake it, it brings out the smokiness and saltiness, and it's really good with the goat cheese and figs. So you just wrap that around, and then to seal it a little bit more, you can add two figs. That one is good to go. So this has been cooking at 400 degrees for 10 minutes, and then you just want to flip them over and put them back in for another 10 minutes so that they evenly cook and cook all the way through. So now that they're cooked, first, Take the toothpicks out, which can be a little tricky. And then we're just gonna cut it in half. So you can see the beautiful filling on the inside. And there we are, all that goodness in there. So then we're gonna just put it on a plate of some mixed greens with a little bit of balsamic. And there you are.